me, Christmas Island is culture. It's history. And it's where we acknowledge the hungry ghost. According to Chinese customs and beliefs, the seventh month of the Chinese lunar calendar is the ghost month and the 15th day is the ghost day. For Christmas Islanders, it's simply the Hungry Ghost Festival. My name is Patrick Chan. I moved here in the mid-70s from Malaysia. I am a practicing Buddhist who observes Chinese cultural customs and festivals on the island. Got to be really unlucky to bump into a hungry ghost when they're on a one-month vacation on Christmas Island. <laughs> the Hungry Ghost Festival has been a cultural tradition longer than anyone here can remember. It begins around August on the Western calendar at the temple located in Drum Site. The Taoist temple is devoted to the god Sheng Wong, who is the protector of the city and the chief magistrate of hell. Shen Wong will open the gates of hell and receive the prayers and offerings for the unnamed souls. The spirits are given this month to expunge or redeem themselves from their sins of their previous life. Both Taoists and Buddhists perform rituals to transform and absolve the sufferings of the deceased. The preparation of ritualistic food offerings is also carried out. The flag signifies sort of like an invitation to the soldiers to come and help themselves to these offerings. Chinese locals burn incense and joss paper. On the top. A paper mache type material of items such as hell's currency and clothes for the visiting spirits. So what I've got here is um, paper mache gold ingots. So these, these are filling in for um, all the expenses for the afterworld. We serve elaborate meals for all. The good brother and sisters are treated as if they are still here amongst the living. There is a communication concept. So basically you ask a question once, have you eaten? And then they will use either these, these blocks here, it's like two up. All right, you just pick a coin, it's two up and you have head and tail. So it basically answers yes or no, or not yet. And then, they'll probably ask the question, oh, have you all eaten? Are you ready to accept the, the offerings, which is going to be a big bonfire of all the offerings? The belief is that the bigger the flame, um, the more accepting they are with the offerings. So we have the good brothers and sisters here, you know, helping themselves to, with the offerings. It's a good sign. And then it's our turn. <laughs> An intrinsic part of the history of the Hungry Ghost Festival is the Chinese contract workers who came to Christmas Island in the late 1800s when the harsh condition of phosphate mining left many of them dying of work injuries, poor nutrition and diseases such as beriberi and malaria. These miners, known as coolies, were either single men or men who had to leave the family behind in China and were not given a proper burial. The historic Chinese cemeteries on the island are a reminder of the forlorn deaths of the miners. 
at more than 100 years old, the unique tombstones, which were created under proper feng shui principles, tell their own story of the history of the island. The last day of the festival month is also marked with a special send-off ceremony, as the gates of hell will be closed again. Locals celebrate by burning more offerings so that the ghosts can return to the underworld content and at peace. In my mind, this festival is really about reflecting on the past. Through remembrance and hope, to obtain peace for oneself and the departed. We are all hungry ghosts, and we are only here for a brief moment in time.